Hello, this is George Cardenas with Cardenas Realty Partners and I wanted to share some information regarding the housing market. I will be putting up the slides with this video so that you can take a look at the numbers as they are today compared to the housing crash of 2008. With everything going on that was caused by COVID-19 and the economic slowdown we're experiencing across the country today, many are asking if the housing market is in trouble. For those who remember 2008, it's logical to ask that question. There are many that still have nightmares from that time period. Many of us experienced financial hardship, lost of homes, and were out of work during the Great Recession. The recession that started with a housing and mortgage crisis. Today, we face a very different challenge. It is an external health crisis that has caused a pause in much of the economy and a major shutdown of many parts of the country. Let's look at five things we know about today's housing market that were way different in 2008. Number one, appreciation. When we look at appreciation in the images below, there's a big difference between the six year prior to the housing crash and the most recent six year period of time. Leading up to the crash, we had a much higher appreciation in this country than we've seen today. In fact, the highest level of appreciation most recently is below the lowest level we saw leading up to the crash. Prices have been rising lately, but not at the rate they were climbing back when we had the runaway appreciation. Number two, mortgage loan qualification. The Mortgage Credit Availability Index is a monthly measure by the Mortgage Bankers Association that gauges the level of difficulty to secure a loan. The higher the index, the easier it is to get a loan. The lower the index, the harder it is. Today, we're nowhere near the level seen before the housing crash, when it was very easy to get approved for a mortgage. After the crash, however, lending standards tightened and have uh, remained that way leading up to today. Those of you who bought a home in the last few years, you know how much paperwork it is that the lenders will ask you for and what hurdles you might need to uh, jump through to get a pre-approved for a mortgage loan. Number three, number of homes for sale. This is one of the most important ones. One of the causes of the housing crash in 2008 was an oversupply of homes for sale. Today, as shown in the image, we see a much different picture. We don't have enough homes on the market for the number of people who are already qualified to buy a home. Across the country, we have less than six months of inventory in an undersupply of homes available for interested buyers. Here in the Los Angeles County and surrounding areas, we have less than a two and a half month supply of homes for sale. Number four, use of home equity. There is a big difference in how people are accessing the equity in their homes today as compared to 2008. In 2008, consumers were harvesting equity from their homes through cash out refinances and using it to finance their lifestyles. Today, consumers are treating the equity in their homes much more cautiously. Number five, home equity. Today, 53.8% of homes across the country have at least 50% of equity. In 2008, homeowners walked away when they owed more than what their homes were worth, causing an overload of short sales throughout the country. With the equity homeowners have now, they're much less likely to walk away from their homes. You see, the COVID-19 crisis is causing different challenges across the country than the ones we faced in 2008. Back then, we had a housing crisis. Today, we face a health crisis, which is completely different. What we do know is that housing is in a much stronger position today than it was in 2008. It is no longer the center of the economic slowdown. Rather, it could be just what helps pull us out of this uh, downturn. If you are interested in selling or buying a home or simply need more information, feel free to reach out to us. Call or text us at 562-413-4431 or email us at cardenasrealtypartners at gmail.com. Stay safe out there and remember to wash your hands. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.